and welcome back to my channel my name is Alicia Elay and today we're gonna go through how to do an updo with your locks so if you're interested please keep on watching <laughs> So, um, I had did this style, like, a few weeks ago, trying to figure out, what, like, what I wanted for my birthday, because I wasn't paying no lock tissue, right? So, I retwisted and colored my hair last night. I just kind of looking kind of crazy. Um, but that's okay, because we're going to be fixing the edges after. Um, so, I retwisted, like I said, my hair last night, and just put it in a ponytail, because... I was going to be doing this for y'all, so decided I should wait. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys what my hair looks like now. My hair is medium length, like, I call it medium length because it's not down my butt, but it's about bra length, if you guys can see that. Let's see if I can. Light. Show you a little better. So you guys can see where it ends. It's ending about here. So, okay, mid back. It's 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 medium length. Okay, it's not that long. It it looks longer than um normal, but yes. So. And adjust the light so you guys can see. Okay, so I'm going to be looking into this mirror here. Um, I realize my hair is still a little damp from last night, but... <sighs> Make sure you guys dry your hair when y'all do your retwist, okay? So, first, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take down... Do I want to have it down? I don't have any in my face. Hmm, probably not. Okay, so, but first, I'm still going to take out a small bang portion. Right? And I try to make it even as much as I can. So this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll probably put back two. So I'll keep this out, right? And then the remainder of it will be going up. So actually, let's backtrack, guys. Okay. All right. Let's backtrack. You're going to need some rubber bands for this style. You're going to need some hairpins like these. Okay, these type of hairpins, the ones that just stick in. I also brought some regular bobby pins just in case, but most likely I'm only going to be using hairpins for this style. You're going to need the small scrunchie as well as the longer scrunchie, okay? Um, the longer scrunchie is pretty much going to be what you're using to get your hair all in one. And I want mine to be pretty high. So I guess I'm using this longer scrunchie for this. Okay, so now is where you're pretty much going to be braiding 
strands here. Ooh, sorry, I just need to put this to the side because we're not gonna need this just bang just yet. Okay. So what you can do is just roll it out of the way and clip it up. Okay, so as you can see, really high pony. This is what the bag looks like so far. Okay. So here's where the hard part comes in, okay? This is the hardest part. Well, one of the hardest parts. They're gonna be braiding all of these locks, okay? So, let's get into it. Okay, y'all. So, what I'm doing is I am braiding my locks. So, I'm doing two per um, strand, I guess. So, I am braiding it down and then I am securing it with those rubber bands. So, you can either do just regular three strands or you can do six strands. Depends on how thick you actually want each um, braid. Up to you. You could do multiple. It just depends on, I guess, how thick you want that bun to be and how big you want the bun to be. So for me, I kind of want a small, not really big bun. Um, so that's pretty much just what I was doing. And I did that through my entire head. braids so now it's time to make the bun so what you do is just wrap the pieces around until you make a bun and pretty much tuck as you go okay so now that we have tucked everything or you can keep adjusting right to the way that you want it now I'm going to use the smaller scrunchie Now you could also use just pins if you want, but I prefer the scrunchie. Okay, so this is what that is looking like so far. Of course you could continue to adjust and either make it bigger or smaller, <clears throat> up to you. Okay. Okay, so that's what this is looking like. Now it's time to do the bang. Okay, so 
what you're gonna do is the top four because I have eight out here the top four you're gonna just put here to the side for right now and then you're gonna work with the first two and you're gonna do two strands for this okay for a more seamless look make sure that you bend in the ends bend it up Okay, so bended ends, looks more seamless. Okay, so that's one. Now, now we're gonna do the other side. Okay, so you got that. Now it's time to use these last four. So the last four is actually gonna be lock swirls. So what you do is First, you're going to take the end and you're going to wrap it, right, just like, just like this, okay? And you're just going to wrap it around. You don't have to do it tight, okay? Of course, I always mess it up. And then what I'm going to do is place it right against the bun. And then I'm going to use my hairpin. Did you guys see that right there? I'm going to situate that. Okay, so. And then I'm going to add one more to secure it. Okay, so that's the first swirl. And then we're going to do the same for the other ones. So I realize I probably should have done the middle ones first, but if I need to adjust, I can always adjust. So I actually probably could have moved this one over, so I might move that one over to make it make sense. As you can see, just try to see if I can show you in better light. There we go. This is what it's looking like. I got four swirls in the front. You could have done swirls all around. That's up to you. Um, that would just require you to have some locks out towards the sides here, right? So you would have to keep out some of these here. Um, that was not the look I was going for. I just wanted the ones in the front. I have the braided bun. Um, and two, sorry, this is bothering me when I see. So if you guys ever have any like locks that are longer than the other, bend it up and then 
just use another rubber band to hold it down so it don't look it don't be looking crazy. I could also actually put this up if I decided I don't want it in my face anymore as a added aesthetic to the look. Um even you know twist it around so that way it looks like a little cute little braided thing thingamajig so you can do a few different things with this so now i'm going to slick my edges down with peculiar roots lock pomade yes it's a pomade but it makes my edges look good y'all uh so it like i said i got a discount code i will leave the discount code in the description um, so we're just going to do some quick edge maintenance, nothing too crazy. No matter how much, my hair is always going to be frizzy. Like, I, I just can't at this point. But, you know, like they say, embrace your frizz, girl or guy. Embrace your frizz. Embrace your freeze, y'all. Okay, so this is what the edges is gonna be looking like. Okay, I'm gonna use um what's that thing called? Oh, another way to keep your edges down. So, like if you are like me and um you sweat a lot or your edges don't be cooperating with you all the time, like me and my 4C edges that want to be who they are um what i do is i'll use my edge control first right my lock pomade and then i actually use the gossipy glue free spray that people be using for everything else nowadays i will use that to spray on my edges and let it dry if i'm in the rest i'll probably use like a blow dryer but I usually just do that, spray it down. And I've found that my edges will last a little bit longer. But this lock pomade is amazing. Like, y'all see my edges. Y'all see my edges. All right, so... This is the finished look. I'm going to spray my hair down with some fin fin finishing spray. With some refresher spray from Peculiar Roots as a rose water quick thing. And then I'm going to tie my hair up so that way I can put my makeup on, okay? Because this is, it is my birthday weekend. This will probably not be posted around my birthday, of course. But y'all can get to see what I was looking like for my birthday. I was looking cute or whatever. Like, I was given. <laughs> but yeah with that being said thank you all for watching please like comment and subscribe if you have any questions please feel free to reach out see you in the next video